think Suzuki and the majority of us will think little cars for old people or very sensible small SUVs. I'll guarantee you don't think hot hatches. But that's exactly what Suzuki have come up with with this little car. They've turned their very sensible little 1.2 litre Swift Super Mini into a smoky little hot hatch and it called it the Swift Sport. I've always thought Swift was a pretty daft name for a little car that wasn't, to be frank, very swift. And when I heard they'd added the name Sport, I thought, how can you have a Suzuki called a Swift Sport? But they've made it look much more the part now. They've got a little car that's now got a very racy front end, big new deep grille, 17 inch lightweight alloy wheels. But what we need to know is, does it actually deliver any sportiness and is it a lot swifter? Instead of the normally plodding little 1.2 litre, you now get yourself 136 brake horsepower 1.6 litre. And this really is a surprisingly sharp little machine. You know what I like about this Suzuki Swift? It's old school hot hatch. It's not too technical, it's not too clever. It's got a willing little 1.6 litre engine and it's just got great handling, which was the ingredients that we all loved about the early hot hatches. It reminds me very much of being a modern day Peugeot 205 GTI. The figures from the Swift Sport are not exactly rocket figures. Nought to 62 in 8.7 and a top speed of 121 are more lukewarm than red hot. But they don't tell you half the story. It's the way this little car handles that's the real trick. It's like being in a little rally car. It's got fantastic agility and it just hugs the tarmac. It absolutely loves corners. Steering is very, very precise. You get great feedback all the time and it makes it just entertaining as hell to drive. And unlike so many of the hot hatches that when you really drive them hard, the fuel economy gets a real dent. This little car's been recording 43 to the gallon and that's pretty impressive for any car with the title of hot hatch. The Suzuki Swift Sport may not be the trendiest little hot hatch you can buy on the market. It's not the quickest, but I tell you what, it's just about as much fun as anything I've driven in quite a while. And at just below 14,000 pound, it's considerably cheaper. And the other good thing about Suzuki's, you absolutely know they're gonna be reliable. Suzuki are not looking to sell a great deal of these Swift Sports. It's a little halo car for the brand. They're looking to do around about a thousand next year, and I reckon they'll have no difficulty in getting those numbers. And those numbers will add to the big success story this car has already been for them. They've sold 2.1 million Swifts since 2006, and that makes it the best-selling Suzuki of all time.